hey guys, welcome back to my fishing YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be fishing at Shelvin Heads for a bit, and I have these lures that look really decent. The Jackson Wariakala, Wariakala. They're pretty decent soft plastic, so I'm going to try and catch some brim, hopefully, maybe some whiting. It's a warmer season, so they should be roaming around this area. It is high tide as well, so fingers crossed I go out there and catch one. But, but yeah, the weather's looking a little bit windy, but it should be good. But yeah, I'll see you guys out in the water. Alright guys, so it's low tide, which people get discouraged by, but um, I think it just leaves some more opportunity for other spots. So it's pretty low, but I kind of wanted to come at low tide because of the tsunami warnings. Because I knew that even at low tide the water would still be pretty high, so... That's sort of why I figured it'd still be good to fish at. But yeah. Well, guys, just had a bite. Not sure what it was, but I felt okay. So as you can see the current here is a bit quieter than the current to the, to the left of me, uh, right of me, sorry. I think it's just because the tides are sort of changing. So what I always aim for when fishing tides and because everyone's like, yeah, there's specific times and stuff. Well, there sort of are, but like, not really. Like, for the best fishing, you want to fish at like, low tide coming higher usually. That's probably what I aim for. But I mean, you can catch fish at whatever tide, but I think at that certain tide, fish are moving because certain current spots have certain, you know, sort of flowing water. And that flowing water is like running to a certain spot. And usually that means that certain spot holds a few fish because they're waiting for bait to drift across so they don't have to work as hard. But yeah, um, yeah, that's a useful tip. So I always fish the quiet waters near the rough waters because then the bait flows into that certain area. But yeah, just thought I'd share that. This is a decent sized tip from a decent sized flathead I think in this area. Hopefully he's still around. Yep. Got him. Right. A little bit bigger than the last one, which is good. It's probably like, well, I'm running. Move up here a bit more. Yeah, beautiful fish once again. Probably like just legal, but I'm just going to release it anyway. I'm not really going to keep anything this episode, I don't think, but he's pretty cool. Whoa, spike. Alright. He is. 37 centimeters. Guys, I hooked into something big. Just took a cast and bang. There's an eel over there too. I don't know what's happening. There's action out here. This guy's decent. The bigger flathead, I think. Whoa. Bring him in. Look at that. He's a bigger one. Also on the Jackson. Let me get my... We'll give him a quick measure. Alright guys, let's give him a quick measure. So he is measured at... ...44 centimetres from the tail. 
It's pretty decent. That's a chunky boy. Big fish. I'm still gonna let him go, but yeah, because I didn't bring anything to keep any fish in today. But yeah, he's a chunky boy. So as you can see, these Jackson lures are pretty top notch. Like they have other hard bodies and stuff which are banging as well, but these soft plastics are really detailed. Look at moving water. I'm not sponsored, I just really like the lures. Check him out. Jesus, I've got to let him go off. There he goes. Back for another day. Hopefully, he gets a bit bigger. But yeah, this is this spot. Pretty decent. Hopefully, there's more stuff around. Cooked another big one, pretty much same spot. Feels like another flathead, but splashing. Look at that. Ah. Chunky boys everywhere. Uh, just pulling to the shore here with a quick measure. Whoa. Aggressive too. During the warmer seasons, these guys are super aggressive. He's bigger for sure. Look at that. Oh, he just spat out. Looks like a small blackfish. Dead one, but crazy. Wow. Let's give this guy a quick measure. Alright, guys. He is 51 centimeters from the tail. He's a big boy. Look at that. On the Jackson Lewis still. Man, what a fish. Look at that. What a croc. That was good fun. The small Jackson. It's pretty hectic. Yeah, give it back. But yeah, we're gonna kiss this one and chuck him back as well. Is he gonna jump off. We're just sitting there. There he goes. Wow, what a fish! That was good. I might stick at this spot for a bit longer, see if there's any more, but yeah. Yeah, small spots like this, really productive. Fishing here as a kid, you know, there's always stuff around, so. Alright, let's get trying to get some more. Alright guys, let's go another fish. Smaller flatty. Nothing too big, I'm not going to bother measuring, but. Very cool looking. Yeah, they're all around here today. Like, I've just been pulling them in basically. Thought it's really been around, but. So, another fairly small one, probably just legal, but. I got something big in the mangroves on my way to my next spot. She might not be that big, but. Oh, Brimbo. Mango brim. Yeah. It's not a massive fella, but. Yeah, he's, he's alright. Probably just legal. Yeah, cool, cool guy. Gotta let him go. Yeah, I got a bit of. Oh, there he goes. Excuse my blood on my hand. I got a bit of the. The flathead spiked me, but yeah. Hopefully, there's more around. Just next cast, another one. A lot smaller. But they're out there. Yeah, stop. Yeah, there it is. It's 
small fella. Guys hooked another thing. It's like a small flatty. Wow. Another very small fish. But yeah. Small guy. Whoop. Very cool.